The king was quite fond of Sheikh Chili due to his innocence and simplicity, but the prince disliked Sheikh Chili. One day the prince called the servants and ordered them. Tomorrow I want to have a contest to find out who is able to tell the greatest lie. Go and announce everywhere. The servant went to different villages and announced. It is a golden chance to win the contest and become rich. I will think to tell the greatest lie. I will also participate in this contest. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Mr. Sheikh, do you think that you are a very intelligent person and can win that contest? Yes, I will. Everyone calls you foolish, but I think you are funny too. Let's see tomorrow. Next day people gathered and attempted to lie. One person said. I have seen huge ants, as huge as elephants. This is not a lie, it may be possible. I have eaten watermelon seeds, so there will be a plant growing inside me. This may also be possible. Sheikh Chili then said. Your Majesty, may I come forward and say something? <laughs> what idea have popped up in your little brain? You are the biggest idiot in the world and the king should not crown you as the next king. The prince stood up in anger and called the soldiers. The prince then ordered the soldiers. Arrest this stupid man, I will punish him. But Sheikh said. Your Majesty, it was a lie. In fact, the biggest lie anyone can think of. The prince had to agree and ordered soldiers. Give him a bag of gold coin as a reward for the greatest lie. Everyone praised Sheikh's wit. One day Sheikh Chili's mother had a severe headache. She asked Sheikh to go out in the street and scold all the kids who were making a noise. She said. Sheikh go and tell them shouting is a bad habit. It disturbs other people who are resting or are ill. Sheikh went outside the house where children were playing. My mother is ill. Don't make a noise. This will disturb her. Go away. Go away. The children decided to go to the playground. That night a few thieves were planning to enter Sheikh's neighbor Aunt Fatima's house. At that time Sheikh was on his terror streaming as usual. He heard some murmuring sound coming from the side where Aunt Fatima's house was located. He thought I should tell everyone that there are some thieves near Aunt Fatima's house. When he was about to shout suddenly he remembered his mother's advice. Shouting is a bad habit. Shouting is a bad habit. Poor Aunt Fatima's house got robbed. The next day in the morning Sheikh's mother told him. Do you know Fatima got robbed last night? Yes, mother I saw the thieves planning to enter her house. What are you saying? Why you didn't tell it to everyone? Mother you said that shouting is a bad habit so I decided to keep quiet. Oh God, what should I do with my foolish son? Subscribe, like and share the video.